Hello again, YouTube. So today we are planning for the week of January 15th through the 21st. I'm trying something a little different in this video today. So first off, I start off with my spread from last week after the week has ended. So I'm just showing it here, doing a little dance apparently. And then actually we're going into this week, which is the 15th through the 21st. So today I'm using a joyful planner uh, kit. It's called Vanilla Latte, I believe. And I'm going through and showing you the pages here. Um, I freaking love this kit. And it is not the only coffee themed kit that she has. I actually have another one that I'm probably going to be doing in the next few weeks. Um, along with the kit, I'm going to be throwing in a ton of other stickers. That's what I'm showing there. Um, not because the kit's missing anything, just because I'm trying to use up some of the stickers that are in my collection. So, we're going and getting started. I'm actually grabbing the little things as well as that bottom washi. And we're going to start with the bottom washi and work our way up as usual. Again, because I'm incorporating other stickers today, my layout is slightly changing. I feel like my layout changes slightly every week because I can't just stay with one type of layout. I get bored. Um, so that's what we're trying out this week. We'll see how it goes. I actually like the way it turned out overall, but getting there was a process, definitely. I love the fact that she has two different washi, uh, bottom washies in this kit as well. It kind of plays to all of the colors that are in the theme of the kit itself. And I think it's fun to break it up as well, rather than having, you know, just one washi, one solid washi, I guess, across the entire bottom. It's fun to have two different um, designs that are shared. So her little things are what I'm grabbing now. And as always, I'm going to put, oh no, scratch that. We went with stickerific color, uh, stickers. And I'm actually putting in my hydrate color, or colors. Why do I keep saying colors, guys? Hydrate stickers. So what these are are simply, obviously, little water icons. And it's for drinking eight ounces of water per, per uh, teardrop there. So I'm pulling these in in order to remind myself huh, to hydrate because I do live in the desert, guys, and I need to drink water. It's kind of important. And I'm horrible at drinking water. Coffee I'll drink all day long, but water, not so much. So putting those down, one for each day, in order to give me a way to track that water and stay on top of drinking all the water I need. I actually do track this in other planners as well. Um, but if it, I felt like incorporating in this trend or this planner this week, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to use it moving forward, but it's fun to try. Now we're going in with the littles. I start with the little dinner icons at the bottom. I put one down for each day. Mm, one was a little crooked. Had to correct it. As I'm doing this voiceover, I'm hearing the other audio that actually is with the video, and I think I might leave it in this week because I love that sound. I don't know why. It's not like, you know, ASMR or whatever that is or whatever, but just the sound of the stickers being picked up and put down. I don't know why. I'm going to leave it in, guys. You're going to hear my sniffle those, too, so enjoy that. Um, but I love hearing that sound of the stickers. So I'm going to leave it in this week. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so there's the final dinner. Little. On top of that, I want to say I put icons for TV, I want to say. What did I put down? Yep, there it goes. That's actually a little monitor that she puts in the kit. Looks like a little computer monitor. I use that for my TV little though. Just to show we're watching every night. Because there's only four of these, I will end up using asterisks, I think, on Monday through Wednesday. But I put the monitors on this side. It's hard to see in the video, so I apologize if you can't see the icons themselves. It has a white icon on like a, a beigey or a yellow background, so it's kind of hard to see. And obviously one was a little crooked, so I had to adjust that guy and it didn't want to go guys look at it it's fighting it says no all right there we go 
I'm going to flip back over to Monday through Wednesday and do the same. I think I put the asterisks here. There you go. And again, this is just to mark what we're having for during each night. Again, I do track my meals in another planner, but it's just been my style to track it in here as well as watching what we watch for TV because normally we're watching TV along with dinner so those are my those are my littles for every day in this planner that's my jam so for Friday I put a little heart icon down here normally because we have date nights on Fridays so I figured I would mark it I also throw down a couple laundry icons I believe here they come nope that's a gift so that one's a gift for one of my friend's birthdays. I believe it's on the 20th. It may be on the 21st, but I put it on the 20th. Um, got her birthday this weekend. And it was fighting me as well, so there you go. So here I'm putting down the laundry icons. I plan on doing laundry probably on Wednesday and on Sunday because I need to do more laundry during the week. So I'm trying to <coughs> convince myself to do more laundry with these sticker icons. <laughs> I think here I'm debating on what to put next because I really don't have anything else to indicate, look, I'm pointing at things, that's very exciting. Um, but yeah, I didn't really have much more to put down, so I s came back in with the small things headers. And I think in the back of my brain I was trying to figure out how I'm going to even out the differences in the days. Again, because I'm incorporating a lot of other stickers, I didn't want to take up a ton of room, and I didn't want to throw down a lot of stuff that was outside the kit either. So it's walking this fine line between the two. And I think I ended up actually balancing it out with quarter boxes, as well as some washi from the kit itself. I don't know why, but I love watching myself and others on YouTube putting down their littles, just because it takes... It is one of those more tedious things, and it's a lot more personal as to what you use and what you don't use. Um, so it's always my favorite to watch in videos, I don't know why. Maybe it's yours as well. Alright, so I'm moving paper around, looking at stuff off camera. There you go, I'm going in with my quarter boxes. My half boxes, these are the ones that she included with the kit, and they're actually stinking cute. I love this kit. Like, I'm not big on the pink. There is a lot of pink in the kit. Um, but I'm not hating it either. It, it balances out well with the orange, not the orange, with the yellow beige color as well as the um, the green color kind of throughout the kit. So for the shorter days or the ones with less small things, I actually put down half boxes. For the other days with more small things, I put down quarter boxes. So for Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to put down quarter boxes here as well. Oh, I didn't put the solids next to each other. I broke it up with pattern. There you go. And then I flipped over to Monday through Wednesday. I did the same thing. So the Monday and Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Monday and Tuesday get half boxes. I'm just finding which half boxes those are right now. There you go. And then... Wednesday we'll get a quarter box. I think there was only a pattern one left. <laughs> oh. Sneezes. There you go. So it was another pattern. I didn't like that there was a pattern next to pattern, but psh, I moved on. Here I'm filling it in with washi from the kit, because there is a slight um, size difference between the half box and the quarter box. There you go. So I'm going to do the same on Friday through Sunday. I 
think I chose that. She has all kinds of different washies, and I thought they looked really, really good. That washi right there is actually just coffee cuffs. It's the bottom of coffee cuffs, whereas the lids are on like another um, piece of washi. Oh, and there's a random paper that I thought I moved and I didn't. There it is. It's gone now, guys. It's okay. It can't hurt you anymore. Um, and then, yeah, she had a lighter pattern on the green and the kind of a more pronounced pattern on the pink. So I threw those in too. I thought they looked really cute. Alright, so there's the full boxes we have to pick from. I think I went with the big cup as the thankful thought box, I guess is what it's called in Erin Condren, but I'm going to put that one in the sidebar. Whereas all the other full boxes will be going through the rest of the week. I did not put any kind of header between the half boxes and the full boxes. Simply because this is this whole thing is kind of my today section, quote unquote. And um, that's where I'm going to put all of my deco as well as, you know, just the bits and bobs I want to fill out for the day. Again, I really like the way these full boxes came out in the kit. Like, they just look really, really cute um, overall. And again, I do have another cut, a coffee kit that's coming up in the next, probably, if not next week, I might do the week after. I'm trying to break up my Joyful Planner stuff because I do have a ton of kits from her shop because I love her. She's actually one of our local girls here in Arizona. And she's actually a member of my planner group here in Arizona. Um, so I see her often at events and whatnot. So I tend to shop from her a lot. So these are the kits that I'm kind of using up this year simply because they've been in my collection for a while. And I freaking love them. They're really, really cute and I keep holding on to them and I'm telling myself this year I need to stop holding on to things and actually start using them. Um, and that's why I'm using it this week because this week is not a lot of going, a lot of stuff going on. It's going to be mostly jury duty as well as, oh, look at me, pointing at things. How exciting. Um, just doing jury duty. That's kind of my week. So at this point, I'm looking for my today headers. I'm trying to find them off camera at the moment. Oh, there they are. I found them. So we'll lay those guys down. And then I think before before I go in with my check boxes, I think I'm just trying to make up space simply because I had a lot of space left to go once I get the today headers down. And I love that the today headers were green in this kit. I don't know why. I just made my day. I <laughs> ordered that green color and they, you know, fit in perfectly with those other full boxes. This made me happy. There you go. So I'm laying those down. Not exactly straight, but close. <laughs> and here's me sizing out the check boxes. So again, I had way too much space to go. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out how to fill some of that space as well as probably incorporate some of those other stickers that I wanted to incorporate this week. <coughs> for things and looking at stuff. Oh, maybe some decisions have been made. Oh, I was thinking about Martin Luther King Day. So for that half box on Monday, I'm trying to figure out which Martin Luther King Day sticker I wanted to use. I have this black one that you can see here on screen, and then I have another one that I'm trying to find right now. There it is. It's actually the same green, or really close to the same green as the kit. So I'm trying to pick which one I want, and then I just totally <clears throat> disregard them all together and move on to other stickers. Because <laughs> I didn't want to make the decision in that moment. I think at the point, at that point, I was leaning toward the black one. But we'll see what actually makes it into the spread. I don't know why I'm holding up the asterisks next to. Maybe I was trying to size up a, a header. Can't say words anymore. Sorry, guys. Oh, this is me going through another kit that I actually have from Joyful Planner. Again, I have a ton of her kits. So I actually grabbed um, what I have left over from another kit from Joyful Planner. 
and then incorporate it into this spread as well. And here's me flipping through some other random stickers that I wanted to incorporate. These are all, um, I think they're mostly local shops. So as I get through the stickers or I get to using the stickers, I'll actually mention which shops they are. I will link them down below as well. Not because I, you know, assume they have the exact same stickers available in their shops today. Uh, just so you have them as reference because they are really, really good shops. And again, most of them are local girls who are actually members of my planner group. So I know and love these women. Like I hang out with them all the time. So... I'm always down to see what they've got in shop as well as, you know, play with what I've got in my stash as well. So what I ended up doing is I actually took the three heart checklists from the kit. That one is must clean and then must buy. I laid those down for Monday and Tuesday of the week this week. And then I put in a half box for Wednesday. For Thursday through th Sunday, I think I did the same. I used up a ton of my hood or half boxes as well as my must contact. I put that down for Friday because I will end up working on Friday. So I will have a list of people to uh, reach out to. There you go. I'm trying to kind of color coordinate as much as I can with Saturday and Sunday. They're putting down those two heads or half boxes. I want to call them head boxes, guys. That's where the heads go, apparently. They go in the head boxes. And then I was pulling in the solid brown right there. So now I'm realizing I don't have enough room for an entire check box because I put down those half, half boxes. Head boxes, guys. They're calling, I'm calling them head boxes now. That's what they're called. Um, so I'm scheming and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. See, there you go. Check box. It's too big. So what I've done is actually, I decided I think to slice off the bottom of them and then only use part of the check boxes. Oh, there I am. I'd went and gotten <laughs> my slicer as well as my infamous Paradise Bakery card. And at this point I'm going through it and I'm gonna slice off the bottom. So I sized it out and I figured out that the last two were gonna be unnecessary, seeing how I will be putting down date covers. So I'm slicing across all of them for those last two check boxes to be removed. So for the top four boxes, I'm slicing all four. And then for the bottom boxes, I'm only slicing three. That's because one of them will end up being in my sidebar, so I don't want that one to be sliced. So there you go. I'm only slicing three of those guys. And I'm hoping and praying that they <laughs> will lay down evenly because I know I didn't slice them evenly. There you go. So we're laying down the first one. Thursday was our guinea pig. There you go. So this is the point where I'm freaking out and I'm trying to determine whether or not I have enough room for a header, which I think I do, as well as my date covers, because I'm pulling in date covers from yet another kit that I got in a D-stash, because there were no date covers included in her kit. There probably are date covers available for this kit on her shop. They're probably just an extra that I did not buy at the time. So these did not, hello, these did not um, obviously get cut very straight, so they didn't lay down very even across the board. Again, no fault of Jessica's, that's me slicing them <laughs> at a complete angle when I'm cutting them. Um, but I think I made up for it with the headers, I just put them off square, so it was fine in the end. So for Monday through t Wednesday, I'm going to put down those other three, which I'm fiddling with on off screen. There you go. Thankfully, I didn't put any of them sideways. I really wanted to. That's how I had them on my fingers. It was totally sideways. But there you go. They got put down straight, and I think they look fantastic overall. <laughs> and I'm pushing them down, apparently, to make sure they're even. So next they go in with my to-do headers, which again lined up perfectly or matched up perfectly color-wise with the check boxes. They look really cute together. Alright. Until the Thursday through Sunday. And we're wrapping up those to-dos. 
Maybe. Maybe. No. Yes. Okay. Ta. So there is a little bit of wiggle between the different um, heights. But again, I'm not going to cry about it because it's me cutting stuff wrong. So at this point, I think I start shuffling around stickers. Oh, but I decided to do the weekend banner. So I'm going to place that down on the full boxes, again, centering off the K. And when I looked at it, it looked kind of skewed, but I think it's actually fine. So I moved on. I started looking through my stickers. I think I went for the sidebar next. And there it is. So I'm going to start the sidebar process. Again, I will be starting with that full box on top. I do turn it upside down. And I apologize if you hate this in the video, but this is the only way I can do it in real life with stickers in my hand. Because I have to start at the top, but I have to work from bottom up. If that makes any sense. So I have to flip the planner around. Probably looks crazy right now. And it's maybe super frustrating for you watching it as a viewer, but I cannot function. My brain will not <laughs> let me go from top down when I'm working on a sidebar. Because I do have to line up that first sticker in order for all of the other stickers to fall in line. So this is just my style. It's how I do it. Alright, so I'm going with the, the green washi with the coffee cups from the kit. And again, because I'm working from <laughs> top down, but backwards, I have to make sure that everything's upside down. Um, so I made sure that the top of the coffee cups was on the bottom as I was placing that one. I put in my two habit trackers, which again are that like, that really cute green, and I love that color. I don't know why, but I really am digging that color. I continue using that same washi. I used a slightly um, thicker piece because that was the only one available and then later on I'm going to use even a thicker piece because that's what she has available in the kit and because I just love this washi. I actually end up putting headers on top of that later. Um, so you'll see that in the video when it comes up. But they were just thick enough so that I could do that. So it was very, help very helpful. I don't know why I'm pointing at stuff. I'm going to put down a checkbox next. I think I was thinking about checkboxes. I'm sitting here measuring them for some reason. Probably because I'm trying to figure out if I want to put a checkbox or if I want to put my weekly next. There's my weekly. I went with the pink one. Instead of pulling that um, green checkbox, which I really want to now, now that I'm looking at it. I should have pulled in that green checkbox and have more of a green sidebar. But I pulled in the pink one. There it goes. I wanted it up just so. And then we put down another piece of washi, which again is that thicker uh, cut of that same design. Just to break up those two boxes. And then I'll finish off with the weekly. So Monday through Sunday. There it is. Because I had space at the bottom, I did end up using yet another piece of washi, but at this point I'm out of the green one, so I ended up using another green one with a planer design, not planer, just with dots instead of the coffee cups. I'll flip you around so you can actually read like a human being now. And at this point I put in my headers, or maybe I looked at Deco. Maybe was it. Was I playing with Deco? Was it in? Nope, there goes the Deco. I think I'm pulling headers. There they are. So they are my don't forgets. Ta and then for weekly I put in this week. I probably will be tracking overtime at that. Uh, weekly checklist. Again, simply because I have jury duty this week and I will be working overtime outside of the jury days. Jury duty days, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now I'm going in with my, oh, putting Tuesday on Monday, good job. 
I'm going in with my date covers. This came from a D stash at one of our recent meetups here in or not in Phoenix actually, it was in Tucson. And unfortunately I do not know who made these date covers. They're really gorgeous. I love the font, I love the color, and I thought it played well with this kit, even though this color is not in this kit anyway. So that's why I ended up using these date covers, and specifically why I got them, not for this kit or this layout or whatever, but because I knew at some point I was not going to have date covers and I would want them. And because they're purple, I knew purple was going to feed into any kit that I bought. So I'm glad they ended up being used with this kit. I think it plays really well, again. Um, but I do not know the shop. So if you know the shop, definitely feel free to let me know. Put it in the comments down below um, if you want to take ownership of this, as this is yours. As well as... Um, what am I doing? I'm pointing at stuff. Um, yeah, just let me know, and I'll put the reference down below um, if anyone can name who those came from. So at this point, I'm putting in some date covers from Stricker and Sandy, which again is another local girl here in Arizona. I got crazy, and I ended up picking up that 15 and going back with my tweezers because I can't deal with the numbers being off. So luckily, she had I had Sticker and Sandy kit leftovers and it's from neon summer as you can see right there um and it's just date covers so i had the numbers for this week perfectly available on that sheet so i grabbed it in order to be incorporated again because i knew i was going to be using these date covers and not have any numbers associated with them so at this point i'm just picking up those numbers sticking them on my little finger in order to stick them on the pages I love the tweezers for this specifically because I cannot, I cannot see well enough in order to stick them down straight unless I'm using those tweezers. And those are my ride or die tweezers again. I use them all the time. Alrighty, so got all the dates in there. At this point I just try to make the decision, oh, flip them, there you go, of the Martin Luther King Day which sticker I'm going to use. I ended up going with the green one simply because it played in with the green that was already in the kit so well. Again, I think I used the tweezers for the sticker simply because it was harder to place it without seeing it. There you go. So yeah, that just played well. And I knew that I probably wouldn't use another kit that would have that similar green anytime soon. So... I decided to use the Martin Luther King Day for this spread instead of using that black one. I will probably use that black one in another planner, just not in this one. So at this point, I think I'm playing with Deco. I'm looking at all the different stickers I have. Because I'm trying to use up stuff from my collection, I did grab a ton. Um, I don't know if I actually ended up using every single thing, but I went to town. I did end up using a lot of her deco that was available in the kit. So right there I'm placing actually one of the EC page covers down and I put it as like a flag. And I put my little planner next to it because today I am planning. It is Monday the 15th. Um, so I decided to do it that way. And then I did the same on Friday because I wanted to put one of these little foxes down. They're so stinking cute. They're from Splendidly Imperfect. Again, another local girl. I'm trying to decide which one I wanted to use. The design has both um, O for Fox Sake and uh, No Fox Given. So I ended up using... Oh, Zero. Sorry. Zero Fox Given. That's one I ended up using just for funsies because I thought it was hilarious. And then I think, yeah, I just started to placing down deco. So she has a lot of, I guess those are vanilla bean flowers, as well as coffee cups. Um, so I kind of just scattered those around in the half boxes as well as quarter boxes, just because they're so stinking cute. And then at the end of the video, I am going to actually show 
I split away for a second in order to actually fill out my planner, which I don't generally do for you guys simply because I, I tend to pre-plan. I don't really have a game plan for the next few days. I know what I'm doing today and probably tomorrow and Wednesday, but past that, I kind of just fill it out as I go throughout the week. I had this stinking cute crown from the kit, so I actually put that down on Saturday, again because that's my friend's birthday, so I figured she gets a little crown. I placed the movie marquee on Saturday because I figured we're probably going to go see a movie this coming weekend, my husband and I. And then I also put down her little icons that she provides. Well, I guess they're not icons, I don't know. But she gives you little um, shopping carts, you get two little laundry icons as well as two grocery icons. So I incorporated those throughout the week because they're really, really cute. I put a little cleaning bottle next to Next Clean. There you go. And I think I'm putting the laundry down. Yep. Put laundry down for Wednesday as well as Sunday. Again, because I need to do laundry. I have to convince myself to do laundry. And the only way to do that is to use stickers and to make it fun. There they go. I really like her little laundry icons too. They're really, really cute. She has those available in all kits. Um, that you do end up buying from her. It's always part of her deco sheet. So at this point I think I'm just throwing down more deco. It's various coffee cups, um, little mugs. She put in some vanilla beans which are really really cute as well as those flowers. It's always harder to put the bigger ones down for me. I don't know why. Because I never know where to put them. So I ended up putting the bigger cups kind of sporadically, and then the little ones I normally put in the half boxes and whatnot. So there, I put the puppy cup there, and then I realized I covered up my own flag. Again, because I think on pink I didn't really see it. So I ended up moving that, and I break away and start writing into the planner. So you'll see that here in a couple minutes. What am I doing here? Playing with stickers. I think I'm looking to I'm trying to determine where I'm supposed to put things. Of course I'm doing it off camera though because I don't want you to see all my secrets. Oh, I'm cutting this up. That's why. There's my slicer. Oh, so this is one of the things I do. And I don't do it consistently. I need to do it more often. But whenever I use a kit from a shop, I try to also incorporate that logo from that shop somewhere in my layout. Most of the time it is kind of to remind me of, hey, this kit came from Joyful Planner. And then when I look at this in like six months time, I know this is a Joyful Planner kit. I can go back and buy it from her if I want to get it again. Um, I started that process at some point last year because I was never used to using kits before that. Um, that's me showing other stickers that I'm using and dancing with them. Um, these are all coffee themed stickers. They say various little quirky sayings. I got these from one of the girls in a Dean stash at one of our meetups sometime in the last year. And they're just too cute to pass up. So I'm using up a lot in this layout. I will be using more in my next coffee layout. I probably will be using that other coffee layout soon, simply because these weeks are pretty humdrum. I don't have a lot going on, but I will be drinking a lot of coffee. Um, so yeah, as a kid, as I was saying, I try to keep the names of the shops that I use in the layouts. These are more stickers from Sticker Insanity, I believe. They're just little post-its, so I put one down at the bottom because I thought it was really stinking cute and I wanted to use it. I don't know what I'm going to put there. Maybe a little reminder of myself for the weekend. But I wanted to incorporate that sticker specifically. And here I'm going through another kit from Joyful Planner. It's the Woodland kit, I believe it's called. And it's really, really cute. I can't remember if I ended up pulling these stickers from it or not. I may not have. Oh, there you go. I pulled a butterfly. So it's a cute little butterfly. I figure it kind of fits in with this kit. So I put down at the bottom. Here I have some more stickers from Sticker Insanity. I'm debating on incorporating. 
There you go. It's chores. So it's a little header, a little header sticker that it kind of, kind of feeds in with the color scheme of this kit. And on Sunday, I always do my chores, so that's probably when I'll be doing a lot of stuff around the house or the storage room, that sort of thing. All right. What are we doing now? I'm playing with stuff. Moving stickers around, apparently. Oh, I'm trying to put you had another coffee sticker in here somewhere. Coffee before Tucky. This is my motto for life. Alright. I think I'm done trying to incorporate more stickers. Simply because I have a ton of decor going on right now. Or maybe I'm picking more. I'm doing. Yep, there's another one. I'm using the groceries because they're too cute not to. <laughs> Some more deco. There you go. Did I put another one down? I totally did. Yep. And one more. I think I used up all of the deco from our kit. Did I put a vanilla bean down? Nope, that's another sticker. That's like an Easter egg sticker. You can't see that one. I put it directly on a sticker washi. And there's a vanilla bean I'm putting down. There you go. I think I'm trying to assess more deco. How much deco can Sandy cram into one kit? Okay, here we go. So this is the breakdown of what stickers are left from the kit. Not a whole lot. I used up a ton. There's my cut up check boxes. Washi left over. A couple boxes left over. But that's her actual kit leftovers. And then here I'm going to take just a moment and then I'm going to come back with it filled out as much as I can for the week. So there you go. Let's try something new. Kind of like it. We'll see how it goes. And if you like it, definitely let me know down below. Feel free to subscribe if you would like to. There's my bookmark and I'll see you later guys. Bye!